so many things can be inspiring to us uh, when we're outdoors and especially things that keep us warm like a new hat that I got from a friend that made it by hand and really that's what painting is all about it's something we do with our hands and uh, so it's really a, a good way to appreciate what we have around us and and share it uh, in some way so uh, I'm going to put my painting hat on and today I'm going to talk about how to choose a scene in a lovely um, a park a setting because there's so much uh, to take in so you may want to walk in the park and just enjoy the park and then focus in on a small area that's usually uh, a recommended uh, way to start painting something there's lovely vistas and sailboats and uh, uh, you can try figures as they walk by uh, I'm deciding to focus on a little path here with that nice big tree overhanging with a branch because um, I like the moss on that tree and I'm going to use my oils to do an impressionistic landscape here at Rocky Point in Port Moody. So when you start a painting, you may think about some of the elements of painting, line and forming shapes and the values, space in between the values, what kind of texture I might em employ. Uh, these are all things to think about, uh, but while you paint, those should already have been practiced and hopefully one of those, is, all of those are put into uh, your painting technique and because I'm painting impressionistically and trying to push color and enjoy sort of the feel of the place um, I respond to more or less um, whatever catches my eye so uh, lots of decisions to think about um, but in any case I'm going to think about exaggerating some of the angles to get some uh, direction moving through the painting so I may make the hill a little bit steeper and um, so why don't I start with that, like a little bit of that hillside there. And the path's going to come through here. And there's this nice bright green here, but dark tree here. So this big tree is a one big shape. And you can outline it and draw it, but I'm just going to bring it in with my brush. And this is where the limited stroke paintings help because I'm just carrying this green um, as the background trees here. And I could make them a little bluer, so what I can do is just block it in like this. This will be the background trees. And I can add a little bit of a blue sort of glaze over that. Even while it's wet, it might uh, just penetrate in and make some interesting darks underneath. Play on that. You know, and often some warmth comes from those tree trunks. So you could get a, a ready color in there. Uh, right away. And in the distance, there's actually light. So there's little bushes in the distance there. These, these bushes in the front here are much brighter and intense in color. So I wonder if I can just sort of check what that might be like at this point. There's lots of shapes. There's, there's another picnic table and a uh, garbage can, which I'm just not even going to pay attention to. And just put some of this interesting color here. So block that in. Okay, there's that. This is all a bright green, glowing. And I can start to think about how I might make that path. I don't want to overdo the brushwork in the sky uh, because I'd like more attention on the trees, so, uh, but still have a harmony of uh, brushwork in that it's, it's not too different. So I'm going to lead that path through now. Let's get that gray. Okay, it's more gray here, it's more intense. And then it gets lighter. And actually pinker. It's got this warm hinge to it. So there's a figure for me to paint, so I'll put him in right now. He's walking. This little girl. Uh, got yellow pants. And 
And then the little girl had all this little colorful things. Just expressions. So little silhouettes. blue jeans. As I step back from the piece, I check uh, where things are, might be playing out a little bit too strong or, or there's some confusion, but I like the brush stroke play because it's, uh, it's, it's like walking through the park with my, I'm walking through the painting with my little expressive brushwork and this is where a little highlight here and there can uh, can uh, bring your eye sort of dancing around certain areas and come maybe closer to that little figure or something but to be careful not to overdo these things because then your eye just jumps all around uh, even though they're playful notes so it's usually just a little suggestion here and there and have a few areas where you want to exaggerate possibly just a little bit of a, a lead-in line or something and a dark right close to focal areas like the figures here um, and this could lead in too so I could just make it a little darker right here and have you stop here by these little figures. Yeah, it almost looks like a little reflection there on a wet day, so that's all right. Yeah. I'll say uh, thank you for this day too. Here by Lynn Valley, uh, where I know that uh, some of the group of seven came to paint, and um, Varley was one of them that uh, painted uh, from this location and visited often. And so for me, I appreciate uh, not only what uh, I uh, took from his work,